Hey guys, welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. Uh, we're actually on lesson number 10 now, so we're really uh, starting to motor through this portrait. Uh, like I said last week, we've just started filling in a little bit more of the value around the hands and just reinforcing some of these darker areas. Uh, and what I wanted to do today is just start getting some hair on this baby's head, um, just showing you some techniques. And once we've started to get some contrast in with the, with the hair, we'll really then start to be able to balance the value. So we're going to be focusing today, we're going to be using a 2B and a 4B pencil, and we're going to be using this brush as well. So starting with the 2B brush, what we're going to do is we're just going to get um, some rough general directions. Uh, and we can see from the reference that we've got some uh, strands of hair coming down and we're just trying to follow the rough direction. Now, with hair, it's very important that we hold the pencil a little bit further away so that we've got a very loose stroke. Um, and this just gives a slightly more realistic look to hair. Now, we're not trying to create the same smooth look uh, as we did with the skin. So when we're doing our tapered stroke, we are trying to make sure that we are getting a texture to to this hair. So I'm coming in and I'm, I'm just looking at the general direction that we've got. Uh, and I'm not trying to fill this in. Uh, absolutely not trying to fill this in. We are going to uh, be using our brush quite a bit in this. So initially we're just laying down some hair around the, uh, the forehead here. And we're still trying to look for those darkest areas. So we'll, we'll talk about that, but we can see some darker and some lighter areas there. Um, I can see that this comes around here. We've got some wispy hair there, but just getting a pretty basic and loose distribution of these hairs. And the tapered stroke is absolutely fantastic for drawing hair. Uh, because they, they blend the strokes together so well and we don't have these harsh areas um, where lines are meeting. So I'm looking for a tapered end to the strokes. So the thickest part of the stroke is going to be in the sort of the center area. Uh, again, I'm not pressing on hard. It's almost as though, like we've said before in other lessons, that it's almost like a aeroplane coming into land and then taking back off again. So I'm just looking at this general direction of the hair. Again, using the 2B pencil and I'm continually turning the pencil to keep it nice and sharp. And I really am not pressing on hard at all. Um, one of the mistakes that I first made when I began drawing hair was I'd press on too hard and again, the ability to make things look realistic is is having the opportunity to take some of the value out as we um as we start to build on this so making sure that we're using a very light hand on the stroke just just laying down some initial strokes here we're not um we're not trying to be very precise and it's the, one of the wonderful things about drawing hair is um you don't have to be absolutely perfect with it uh, it does give you an opportunity to be a little bit more free with your stroke and a little bit of artistic license because everybody's hair is changing all the time. So we may have this little tuft of hair here now, but as the baby rolls over and moves around a little bit, we may find that we've got a tuft of hair somewhere else. So as long as we've got the, the general idea, the general shape and the general direction initially, And we're going to be quite happy with that. Now, obviously, we, um, we've we had to make up a little bit of what this baby's head is going to be like here uh, because our reference image didn't, um, 
didn't give us that that view but one thing that we do know is that the edge as it goes around the head is going to be the darkest area even on the hair so you can see here that this edge is the darkest area so we're going to make sure that we capture that with our drawing okay now I'm going to use the brush and I'm just going to brush the hair lightly and what this creates is it creates value in the lighter areas so it initially starts to make the, the drawing a little look a little bit more dimensional less flat um, and as you can see even in hair dark hair this baby's got very dark hair it's black hair there are lighter areas and that is what we're going to try and capture so I can see in here we've got a darker area it's almost a V and it comes around here as well so it's slightly darker into there so finding these darker areas and just layering layering more of these tapered strokes and you will start to see that we're going to be, get, be able to start building up what we call volume and making this hair look as though it's thousands of strands of hair sitting on top of one another and all having their own individual directions now we don't want to get wrapped up in trying to draw individual hairs so we're looking at clumps of hairs and directions so I can see this in here is slightly darker so unlike with the skin we are starting straight away with the 2b pencil we're not um we're not building the values up um, for the simple reason that we we don't need a very very smooth texture hair hasn't got this very smooth texture that a skin has just making sure I've got the general directions patience again is the key looking for shapes within the strands of hair that we can create with our pencil strokes We, we, we can see that there's hair coming into the forehead there so we don't want a really clean edge but we can we can brush some value into that and then maybe use the HB later on to get that realistic sense of the hairline there and it's things like that that add realism to our drawing you know unless somebody's been to a barber's shop and they've had a very distinct edge put in what you will find is people's hairline consists of hairs coming in and out of it so we need to be mindful of that we'll give that another brush always brush the hair So we're going to come around to the right hand side now of this baby's hair and again we're just building in I'm sure we can see that so we're looking at this area here now and I can just see that we've got some general general shapes when we're drawing hair or fur it's important that we don't have a regimental line anywhere so 
the more broken we can make the lines and the the shapes the more natural it looks uh, we don't want to give it a unnatural machined look almost so again I've still not sharpened my pencil I keep turning it make sure that's in in frame you can all see that a little bit of artistic license around this area here because obviously that's not something that was in our drawing or our photograph sorry it's going to be in the drawing so now you can start to really get a wonderful understanding of the values that we've started to build up in there and we're getting a, a beautiful contrast um, we're not as dark yet in this hair as we're going to be but you can definitely start to see now that we are, have built up some nice values um, in and around the face and it just makes things a little easier for us to then go in and balance so I think it's time to brush now so we're going to brush this area here and then another application of the 2B pencil keeping that pencil moving fluently so let's see what we can do with a little bit of this 4B pencil now now we're starting to look for some of those individual strands some of those darker strands just bringing some darkness and depth into the back edge of this head because again we're going around a sphere it's a it's a rounded object building the layers up getting away from that smoothness we don't want that smoothness so I'm not I'm not refining the the areas as much as we did with the skin itself I'm allowing those slight imperfections I'm just coming across this forehead slightly here because I can see that that's slightly flatter than how I had it this probably comes out slightly more here as well looking at this baby we, 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 it just looks as though we're slightly off in the shape obviously we don't know for sure because we can't see it but it just to me looks slightly off so I'm going to just add some more hair into this area there
<clears throat> Let's have a brush again. Just pull some value into some of those lighter areas. I'm not entirely happy with the shape that we've got here. And again, this is always one of the difficult parts about working with a poor reference image or trying to add things. Uh, the parents of this baby will know exactly how this hair or the shape of this head should be. We're having to guess at this. So you may spend hours and hours recreating something that you think is there but actually there's a big tuft of hair up here and your drawing looks totally wrong but we're not trying to draw for somebody here we've picked a reference image that's readily available on the internet and we are just getting to grips with some of these new techniques I'm going to darken this far edge up. Starting to refine some of those darker areas now. can see some subtle hairs coming into the forehead. I have another brush. So what I'm now going to use is I'm going to use something called a Tombow Mono Zero eraser. Uh, you can get these from Amazon, they're cheap, and it's just a retractable eraser, almost like a mechanical pencil. Uh, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to bring out a few strands of hair. So again, using the tapered stroke, just bringing out a few of these lighter areas. Very useful for when we're trying to draw somebody with blonde hair. Um, but nevertheless, even on a, a very dark baby's head of hair, we're gonna have these slightly lighter areas. And we're always going to brush the value back slightly. Because like we've said in a lot of the videos, we never ever want something that is completely white on the page. Uh, unless it's maybe the, the white of somebody's eye or an animal's eye. Everything is going to have a value to it. But by taking some of that value out with the Mono Zero eraser, we can then brush over it and we've then got a lighter area. And we work around that again. I'm using my 4B pencil again now. And I'm just starting to come into some of those darker areas again now. 
adding a few more details, a few more of those wispy hairs. And you can really start to see now that we are building layers upon layers of hair up here. And we are getting quite a realistic look. And the contrast beautiful, it's, it's really setting off the rest of the drawing. And it's going to make the final stages of this a lot of fun. Um, the touching up in certain areas of the um, the nostril areas with the four with the four B, maybe going into a, a four B around the shaded area. Uh, let's go that side by side. We're, we're just going to just try and put a little bit of a value and detail into this area here. I'm not liking how that's that's looking at the minute, but um, it's the the least worked area we've. So I'm looking for these areas, these dark areas here. And we'll put some of these fine hairs in towards the end with a with the HB pencil. Uh, the HB pencil being a harder lead will hold the point better so it will allow us to get some finer details in to those areas. So we're now looking for some of these slightly more individual strands because the baby's actually got quite a thin head of hair. I mean, it looks quite thick, but in comparison to an adult's hair, it's quite thin. So you are going to be able to see the scalp in certain areas. So we're looking to create that. Still reinforcing the fact that this back edge is going to be our darkest edge because that's the nature of a three-dimensional object as it curves away from our line of sight or our perspective we see less light going to it and therefore it remains darker brush a little bit of value into that forehead there so we can maybe take some value out and some strands of hair. Certainly if this child had blonde hair, we'd be able to take some very fine blonde tips of hair out, which would give us again another opportunity to create some realism. Um, I'm quite liking this side. It's looking rather good. So we've been doing this for 24 minutes. You know, it's again, it's, it's, it's a fairly long and drawn out process. But we are now finally starting to get a real sense of what this baby's looking like. What it's going to look like. I'm going to tap back a little bit in this corner here. I, I think I've come too low down into the forehead area there. And you can see I'm still able to lift off just by tapping some of this value. Um, and it looks a little bit messy, uh, but we can, we can correct that. Uh, uh, I will brush first. So the next phase will be brushing. I'll then add some 2H in there. just to bring a bit of value back. And because we've not damaged the tooth of the paper, this glides on well again. Maybe another brush. So 
so I can see that this is sort of the darkest area in there and it almost comes up a little straighter up through here so I want to try and capture that So I'll just show you how I'll add a few of these wispy hairs with the HB pencil now. Same idea, very lightly pressing on, just getting the general direction. tapering the edges out. I don't want anything too harsh. Some of them are slightly darker than others. So I'll see you in the next video. Um, I'm just going to carry on repeating this process. So hopefully when we, we uh, reconvene next time, I'll have this head of hair. And then what we'll go through is we'll go through balancing some of the values out and just adding some 4B and some 6B into some of the darker areas uh, just to give us that sense of depth, adding a few of the finer details maybe bringing in some highlighted areas with the needed eraser as well. Uh, but it's been a pleasure as always. Thanks so much for all of your contributions into the uh, Facebook page. Uh, it's been great seeing some of your work. If you've got any questions, let me know as always. If this is your first time that you've um, checked out the channel, thank you so much. I'm really enjoying working alongside you guys. And uh, I'll see you when you've all had a go at this beautiful head of hair. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Hit subscribe, smack the notifications button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.